You want to start a print-on-demand business, but you do not know what niche to go into. In this video, I'm going to show you the five best research ideas for t-shirt niches. What's up guys, my name is RJ Martinez and I've been doing print-on-demand full-time for about four and a half years. I'm going to share with you some of my favorite research ideas that are sure winners if they're done right. So make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of content and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. All right, guys. So the first niche is going to be the chess niche. Okay. This is an evergreen niche and it, I'm pretty sure it does really well during, you know, Christmas or any other holiday, right? A special event. Um, I can see people buying this shirt for people that are celebrating, you know, buying gifts for Valentine's Day, you know, just, just stuff like this. Okay. So choose your weapon. Funny play quote okay now you can see by looking at the keywords okay this is a simple design you know it has a little bit of color you know it has some white text down below choose your weapon you can see what they're doing right here with you know the keywords chess funny player and then quote okay now this gets me thinking okay you see you see this right here you're thinking about what else can you do in this niche so what we're gonna do is to go into it a little bit deeper we're gonna figure out okay what designs are doing well obviously I'm using Merchant Farmer over here, the Merch Hunter. This is one of my favorite parts, one of my favorite tools inside of uh, the Merchant Farmer uh, product research tab right here. The Merch Hunter is a really awesome, and then Movers and Shakers. Uh, but as I find a new niche, I used, by the way, everything that I found in this video, I used the Movers and Shakers tab right here. It's a really awesome way to find new niches. And then what I do is plug it in with Merch Hunter, which I'm going to share with you guys in this video on how I did it. So I found the chess niche, and then I came in here, and I was like, okay, what else is selling in this niche? What evergreen um, designs are selling really well in this niche? Okay, so funny quotes. Okay, um, as you can see, the, the most powerful piece in the game, the Black Queen. Okay, all white text design. Okay, with a, you know, a little outline of a chess piece. Okay, choose your weapon. There's that design again. Okay, now you're going to see that, you know, these are consistent sellers. Okay, look at this, the BSR, 64K. 184 okay got 158 uh ratings 116 ratings uh 190 you can see like you know um humor uh chessboard okay looking at the keywords is going to tell you a story too as well and then the retro okay every single niche we we pretty much if you're new to this retro it, it crushes pretty much in every single niche if you can figure out how to create a retro design which they did right here with this one here this this is uh pretty clever right i'm um, pretty creative how they did that i think it's really cool you can do something like that now you can see what this person did here with the the black queen uh black queen again i got i've got awesome moves um now ocd obsessive chest disorder so now i'm looking at certain il illustrations okay in here okay illustrations they're creating custom illustrations to stand out okay this is what something that i always tell people when it comes to if you want to take your business to the next level on merch my amazon custom illustrations are important you can see okay let me click on this look at the detail work look how they did all that okay it's it's it just stands out you can see how it stands out from everyone like everyone else like you can if you look you put this on the front page this design is going to stand out compared to everyone else okay so it's very powerful by implementing custom illustrations into your designs you can make a big difference and drive consistent sales to your design okay to your product okay that makes all the difference in the world when it comes to making sales on amazon and here's another example choose your weapon you can see the custom illustrations the custom illustration that they created right here which is it's it's pretty clean looks nice okay and that's like i said that's consistent selling like if you let's say you started off with a simple design like this okay and then you're making 20, 30, 40 bucks in a niche. You reinvest that money and create some custom illustrations, custom elements in the niche. That's one way to take over the niche and, and dominate and be the best in there. Okay. Checkmate. <laughs> That's really cool. You can see right here. Really cool. Really awesome. Um, there was one that I wanted to share with you. It was going down towards their hair. That's what I do. I love my dog and I play chess. You're seeing a lot of designs that are being, you know, mixed with the, their favorite animal. Okay. It can be my cat. You know what I mean? And you're seeing a lot of that. So if you can think of something which you can do with a certain design and mixing that with the chess niche, that's one way to create less competition for yourself. So think of stuff like that and figure out different ways, come up with different ideas, try not to don't copy 
anyone in this niche don't copy don't copy designs don't do none of that stuff try to figure out something unique and different and if you can only come up with two or three do that four designs five designs figure out what you can do and implement it into this niche and create a top seller all right so the next niche is going to be the garden niche okay um as i said earlier uh, in this video, I talked about, you know, mixing animals and, uh, you know, the main niche that you're going after. So I just want to work in my garden and hang out with my dogs. I just want to work in my garden and I want to hang out with my cats. <laughs> you know what I mean? So think of ways of like you know see how we're mixing this i just want to hang out with my snakes or something like that okay there's a few different ways to approach this and you know there's a certain you know maybe you don't have dogs you have snakes or you have cats right um this is a really um you see how they did with the design put some stuff in there looks like a lot going on but i can picture you know a, a person that just loves doing you know has a lot of plants and and gardening and stuff like that they have a lot going on okay so the next thing, um, I went over here to Merchant Farmer and did a search over here. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you what I see. Okay, here's another one. I just want to work in my garden and hang out with my dog. Okay, you can see this one right here. It's a it's it's a it's a okay design, but I'm pretty sure it's one of the first designs up in this niche, so that's why it's doing pretty well. So gardening and animals, right? Mixing that up right there is a good way. Now I'm thinking about different types of vegetables, different types of fruits in this niche that you can design for. Okay, think of people's favorite vegetable. Think of people's favorite fruit. Okay, that's what I'm leaning to when I'm thinking about gardening and stuff and taking care of the garden. That's what I'm thinking. And then of course, funny sayings in this niche. Okay, you're gonna see right here, pothead. Okay, I just wet my pants. Now, one thing that I wanna share with you guys too, with Merchant Informer, they have this cool little tool. So for example, if you wanna just check and see if it's trademarked for a t-shirt, okay, that saying, it's not. So just to verify to make sure that it's not, you can just click on MI trademark check and that will check for, you know, the tops, uh, the pop sockets, tote bags and pillows. You can do that too as well right here just by clicking that and it will tell you. Okay. Another way is highlighting it, right click, and then the merch research free tool, USPTO, and then dive in a little bit deeper on the official USPTO site and see if it's trademarked or not. Okay. So going back over here, funny sayings. Funny sayings are doing awesome, pretty much in every single niche. Okay, think of a, a design or a saying. Maybe it's something new, something current, something that's a, a trending saying right now. Can you mix it with this niche? That's something that I would think about. That's something that I always think about. Like when I'm on social media and people are talking, I see stuff, I see certain comments. I'm like, wait up, this will work really good in this niche. Let me let me see if I can put something together, right? Um, so think of that. Think of stuff like that that you can put together. Any funny saying that's current right now that you can think of. Now, as we go down, um, let's go down a little bit. Garden Gangster, I'll be in my office. You see, those, some, something like this was, um, you know, this has been around for, for many, many years. You can see, I've seen this on Etsy. You see, you see it all over, okay? Um, so when you're going after stuff like that, you want to you wanna make sure that, you know, there's not a ton of competition when you're creating a design like that. Because if your Garden Gangster design is competing with an, another thousand Garden Gangster designs, how are you going to stand out? How are you going to be different from everyone? All right. You make me feel alive. Okay. I'm seeing the, you know, the plant, like the garden niche and then the skeleton, something right there. That's, um, I'm not sure too sure what's, what's that about. Um, pay attention to that. Uh, you make me feel alive. Um, it's, this is, uh, this is interesting because I'm seeing the theme of this right here, the skeleton theme. And it's been going on since last year, but mixing it into these different niches is something you want to think about if there's any ideas you can come up with right there i'll definitely look into that and then i was doing a search um the gnome gnomes and garden so gnomes just everywhere on the internet right gnomes are just everywhere so if you can mix it into the garden niche i will do so you can see something like this which is really freaking cool how they put the flowers and the bee and stuff like that that's a really awesome design check out that illustration it's pretty cool right um, but i just like how they just put it all together got the little garden fence um, you know, a little watering thing, a little heart on it. Really cool. The bees and the sunflowers. Awesome. Awesome illustration. A cute one, right? And then right here, this plant one, this is really, uh, creative. Okay. You can see that what they did with the illustrations. They put some, uh, plants in a pot <laughs> and then they put them together in, uh, a dancing, you know, they're dabbing, you know, doing the floss 
floss dance and just, just dancing and doing all kinds of crazy stuff, which is really cool. So thinking of being creative with these illustrations, like how they are right here, is definitely going to stand out. And you're going to create some consistent sellers, as you can see. 272, 287, and um, yeah, the garden niche. Add one more thing. So single de miles coming up, right? Uh, not your average gardener. You can see this right here. They got a sombrero. That's this is cool. Okay, something like this. If you can mix something like this for a single de mile that's coming up, not your average gardener, and mix the, you know, mix it up a funny saying with that, it's gonna make sales. Okay, it, it, it's well you're giving yourself a better opportunity to make sales. Something like that. You're standing out. Think of a funny saying, mixing it with you know up and coming niche, and a holiday or something like that. It can it can definitely make sales like Easter, like Easter and you know gardening or single de mile and gardening. Think of stuff like that. All right, so the next niche is going to be the safari niche. All right, now I'm thinking when it comes to this niche right here, I'm just, I'm thinking of, you know, see, you can see the keywords, family vacation, uh, safari squad. This is a design right here, you know, meant for, you know, more than two, three, four, five people to buy this shirt. So there's people that are buying this in multiples. They're not just buying one, they're buying two, they're buying three, they're buying four, basically. People going like on field trips, family vacations, Okay, and you can see what they did with the font. They kind of put, you know, you know, different type of animal on the back of the, the print of the animal. All right, which is really cool. Now, I came over here and I uh, did a search over here in Merch Hunter. Um, you're going to see birthday. Okay, you're going to see like birthday shirts. It's first, dad of the wild one, mom of the wild one. And you can see what they're doing right here. Just switching out mom, dad, and you're going to see I, I, I'm wild and one. Okay, and anti of the wild one these all have bsrs they're all selling so that means you know the theme of the birthday party you know what they're doing is having like a safari jungle animal theme and that's what they're doing okay and you can see right down here grandma of the wild one which is really cool okay so think about themed birthday parties or just going on a family vacation field trip that seems like you know in, in this niche that's that's the people that are doing good okay so think of that right there when it comes to the safari niche, like how can you target big groups of people? All right, now also just different animals in this niche. Okay, you can see a tiger. Okay, who's like, who's in the safari? You're, you're now, you're seeing like, look at this uh, elephant, giraffe, lion, monkey, crocodile, alligator. You're seeing, and then you come down more, you're seeing more of the safari squad. Okay, you're seeing a lot of this type of design in here, safari squad again, but you can see the different prints and more, this one seems to be a little bit more detailed or, you know, more themed zoo crew okay like i said groups of people you know safari squad zoo crew zoo squad zoo squad think of stuff like that and uh, you'll sell multiples um but the animals you know that's cool that's really cool the animals in the niche think about the different animals and you can literally sub niche into those other ones like for example this draft right here with these cool little green glasses on okay going into the draft niche right and you can dominate that niche Okay, be the best in that niche as far as illustration. But creating something like this, I can see why it's selling because it's freaking awesome, right? And then like the elephant niche, the lion niche, and what, oh, see, the tiger niche, the hippo niche, the zebra niche, it, it's so on and so forth, okay? And you probably see me talk about this in later videos too as well, but those are just niches that you can just think of. Think of a general niche and then sub niche down into those smaller niches, okay? and figure out what's going on there. But birthday shirts, you know, family vacation shirts, squad shirts, stuff like that, they're doing really awesome in this niche. All right, so the next niche is gonna be the LGBT niche, okay? Proud mom. Okay, when I was doing some research, this came up and it's, you know, it's a consistent seller in the niche, okay? So these type of designs, proud mom, proud dad, proud brother, proud sister, proud uh, auntie, right? You're seeing a lot of the auntie um, being around. Just applying it to this niche right here, coming up in June. So the, the month of June is LGBT, okay? That month is uh, the celebration that we're in this month for this niche, okay? If you go over here and do a Google search, you'll see it, the LGBT pride. LGBT pride month is for 22 two is obviously June 1st to June 30th, okay? So it, uh, another thing too, if you're unaware of certain things, just do a Google search. It's all on the internet, but it's all here, right? I come over here and do a search. Okay, you're gonna see different types of uh, designs, okay? Like awareness designs or just, it's, uh, it's this is gonna be a different niche. So you gotta make sure that you understand it and know 
what's going on okay because it's coming from different angles right so human and you can see what they did right here um with you know the different types of colors okay be you with the different types of colors now you're you see love is love and you want to make sure that you're checking for all trademarks and stuff like that and i showed you in this video already but just to double check to make sure that you understand coming over here and doing the uh, merchant farmer trademark check boom okay just to double check to make sure that there's no you know you're not infringing if it's love is love on a shirt you want to make sure that you're not infringing on that okay no one should live in a closet okay um different you're seeing you know funny sayings in this in this niche that are doing really well <laughs> amen okay you're seeing the cats what they did right here with the you know for the the transgender niche you can see what they did here okay with the cats of different colors cat different color cats only choice i made was to be myself okay you can see what they did here they're making statements okay they're making statements with these shirts okay when you're creating something like this funny sayings do well but mostly making a statement when i look at this or i see someone like this in public wearing a shirt like this i can see like they're trying to make a statement prove their point or you know or just you know just to show everyone that they're human too like you see right here right this is a niche right here that sells all year round evergreen okay you're seeing a lot of stuff um like a lot of different you know designs that are going on right here i like what they did right here this is cool with the heart you know with the shamrocks so that's really cool you see what they did they mixed it up right there very creative i like to see stuff like that that's just stands out in the niche and in, in, in uh, something that's very simple but it's it stands out because you can see it's a heart right which is freaking cool and then it has the colors in there too think of stuff like that and what you can do right and just maybe mix it in with the single de mayo niche you can think of something anything like that that would be really freaking awesome it's it's freaking awesome to see certain st stuff like this right all right so the next niche is going to be vegas girls trip birthday squad okay you know it's uh girls taking a trip with their girls and celebrating the birthday right uh, las vegas birthday squad 222 okay when you see this you know obviously you got a group of four friends they're gonna buy the same shirt and wear it out and go hang out right you can do this with the girls you can do this with the boys that's that would probably be to the two main ideas that i get from this right here for you know birthdays celebration 21st birthday too as well people you know would love to go to the, with the 21st birthday and go to vegas you know go gamble and drink and have a good time so think of stuff like that girls trip you see that again right there girls trip rolling in vegas for the 37th birthday so people not just for the 21st they're celebrating all the birthdays right so think about that too as well so not just but 21st is a big one but then celebrating you know birthdays after that too but 20 21 is a big is a big one now you want to be careful las vegas ice hockey sports team golden now i want to see come over here to google let's come over here to google with us las vegas hockey you type that in vegas golden knights okay so if you don't have the rights to make a t-shirt like that don't do that because then that's how you get your account in trouble so when you're doing the research you know if you're designing for a hockey team or just hockey in general you can't do that type of stuff because then you'll get in trouble if you don't have the rights so let's click on it see if it has the dogs yet no it doesn't have the dogs yet but i'm pretty sure that this this account you know probably gonna get in trouble for that um pretty similar you can see what they're doing so something like this just to, you know tip and tips and tricks throughout this video um this is a no-no so don't do this right here because you get in trouble so if you're unaware of that if that's your design delete it take it down don't know it now when i'm thinking of vegas i'm 21 card me bro see funny sayings okay about being 21 would be awesome for this niche too as well or just even 21 turning 21 okay that's a big part in in the u.s where we celebrate okay i'm 21 cool i can go out and go hang out and go drink and stuff like that so think of stuff like that i'm 21 bro card me that would be a really awesome shirt you know to wear okay in vegas i guess or just anywhere in general when you're going out next would be gambling okay when i'm thinking of different ideas when you go out to vegas you go to gamble okay when you go gamble you play poker you play blackjack and there's a ton of other you know uh gambling uh games that you can play out there and bet money on so think of stuff like that. Okay, I'm thinking horse racing now. When I think of stuff like that, I'm like, okay, cool. I have buddies that play 
uh, poker, you know, and they play it, you know, competitively where they put a lot of money up and they, and that's what they like to do. And then I have a few other buddies that just enjoy playing blackjack and they love putting up a lot of money and playing blackjack. Okay. So there is a demand, I'm pretty sure for those niches right there. So I would go and check those out. See, this is powerful because when you're doing research, you think of other ideas when you're doing it because your brain starts going. And then when your brain starts going, you think of really awesome designs and and you start to get creative so this is why i love doing research right yeah no see how they did it with the ace with the card you can see what they did right here texas hold'em poker playing card really really awesome really cool so that's what i would do right here for that las vegas niche you can see a king the crown on it think about think of ideas and i'm seeing like an open open field with some of this stuff right here um there's a few ideas that i would give you inside of you know, when we're doing research over here and just coming up with different ideas, getting lucky in Vegas for our seventh anniversary. Okay. People are going to Vegas for their anniversary. That is, there it is right there. Okay. That's another idea. So we just came up a few different sub niches in this Las Vegas niche. There's several different niches in here that you can go after and come up with new, you know, just think of, be creative. Okay, so the anniversary in Las Vegas go really well. Birthdays in Vegas go really well together. Okay, uh, you know, just trips in general to Vegas would do really well. Now, Vegas and poker, Vegas and blackjack. And you're seeing how I'm doing that and just coming up with different ideas and then sharing them with you guys on this video. Okay, so, yeah. All right, with that being said, okay, if you guys want to learn more about keyword research with Merch by Amazon, okay, or just print on demand in general, Check this video out right up here. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up.